straight leg raise. So, um, and I always do a hip exam as part of my low back exam. I think it's really important. Um, I, I can't, I can't uh, begin to tell you uh, the amount of people that come in after they had knee surgery and knee scopes and the pathology came from their hip or the pathology came, they've had a hip scope but the pathology came from their back. So you've got to examine, uh, um, got to examine your joints. Okay, so straight leg raise. This is all, you guys know this, right? So um, the seg is where, let's say that Justine says, oh, I have pain right here. Now, now who carries a goniometer with them and does measurements of joints? You know, I do sports medicine, and I don't even measure the joints all the time, right? So this is um, my knowledge of geometry, right? So we're at zero degrees here. We're at 90 degrees here. Look at that. That's fabulous. Good job. It's very unusual. And then so this is 45, right? So you guesstimate, right? So let's say that Justine at 45 degrees straight leg raise has pain that goes down posterior thigh, posterior calf into her heel, OK? Now, I'm going to lower her, I'm going to say, Justine, tell me when the pain goes away. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dorsiflex. And she's going to say, it's back. Does that make sense, right? This is like a neural tension test. So I took off the stress on her sciatic nerve here, but then I added it back in by dorsiflexing. That's just a way to kind of document that, yeah, this is something that's real, okay? All right, that's a straight leg raise. And this is Gillette's test, okay? So let's see if she's got a normal one first. Um, okay, do you guys even see my posture? Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't want to do this. I'm going to, now my knee, I need a knee replacement surgery soon, Dr. <laughs> Ward. Um, because I've had five surgeries, already, but I, you know, I'm going to get down as far as I can because I want to make this okay for me too. So left knee up like you're marching. Bring it up to 90 degrees. This is Gillette's test. Can you guys see my left thumb go down? Come back down, and now the right knee up. Not bad. So, so my thumbs are rotating down. Now, let's say that Justine had a um, fixed and truly rotated uh, joint on the left or SI joint. She would do this for example, okay? Does that make sense? So that itself is really valuable. This is the Thomas test. So perch a little bit, now lie down. Perfect, she's gonna hug her knees to her chest. Can you, um, you may need to come over here, young man. Well, no, do this first, that's good, okay. So um, Justine is gonna pull her knee to her chest and she's gonna make, we need to make sure her back is flat. No arching here, okay, just make sure. Now, this may hurt someone's knee, so I'll say, why don't you grab there? There you go, good. That way she's not compressing her patellofemoral joint. Always we're thinking about uh, trying to not create pain. So where is Justine tight? Call it out. Iliopsoas, because she's not parallel with the table, correct? What about her rectus femoris, her knee flexion? Is she tight there too? Yes. She needs to be here. Okay, relax. You all right? Yeah. Okay. If she's tight through here, it's going to cause her to be more anteriorly tilted in the pelvis, which will cause her spine to go more in extension, right, and create back pain, potentially. So, so this is a great test.